we're in the Lake District and we've come to this little beautiful little tarn. It's beautiful, it's um, supposedly good for sunrise, sunset, but since we've drove over to here, it's clagged over a bit. But we're still gonna try and work it. We're still gonna try and some, get some it. So I've gonna walk around the lake or come halfway around the lake. It's, this tree is so interesting with that reflection and this, these reeds, it looks bloody lovely. We just need that extra bit, I think. But I'm still gonna try and get this image as it is and then we'll try and work it. We'll just try and work it, see what happens. But it's still really nice. As um, I would Ginger Captures and Martin MH Landscape Photography and Big Daz. And um, we've also got another photographer up on the hill here, so um, that could actually be a good spot, to be honest. So, yeah, let's, let's work it, let's see what happens, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've set up the camera. I'm so glad I did, because I've got a little bit of a lighter bulb, which is reflecting on the, the tarn, in the tarn here. So I've put the tree on the top third, We've got these reeds, but it's the reflections and that little bit of extra in the shot. It's bloody nice, really nice. Um, F8, ISO 100. We've actually gonna, I might have put F11. That's F11 and it's um, 25th of a second. What I've got to watch is, is this ground is really soft and any movement's going to move my tripod, so it's uh, we've got to really watch what we're doing. I mean, it's seriously soft underfoot. The thing is, it's 25th of a second, so it's not particularly slow shutter speed at the moment, but we'll have to be aware of that. That's that's actually a nice shot, and I'm happy with that. So let me, oh you're not gonna, right, let me show you because I'll put the polarizer over, bring it down. But we've got that little bit of light coming down and it's sort of surrounding the tree. Um, actually, what I think it is, is actually a rain cloud coming this way. Just, which which make, gives it a little bit of drama. So it just shows you, you can pull something out of it. So that's quite nice. Like Martin was just saying, it's probably, probably a black and white image. I do like the tree, I like, I like this. It's a little Scotch pine, I believe. So it's still got its green foliage on. So maybe just, just desaturate it a little bit, probably. I prefer to do that than actually go black and white. But it's a very, very sort of desaturated image anyway. But yeah, that, that's, that's quite, quite a nice bit of drama in the sky there. So we'll try and catch that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, right? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the opinion of these guys to see what they think of this location. So we've all pretty much in a row. Let's see, uh, let's try and get Martin's thoughts on it, his composition, etc., or the lack of it, or what. Has potential, not in these conditions. Struggling a bit, aren't we? Struggling. I think probably more of a summer location. Yeah. To be honest. Um, yeah, it's nice, but I think it needs, uh, it needs the right conditions to work. It, it, I suppose it could be, it's one of them locations you can actually just pop to very quickly. Yeah. So say if you, you've come to the Lake District and you're a little bit late and you, you're only going to get to a sunset shot, let's say, and you've got five minutes, you can get here and you've got potential to get a cracking image. Again, sunrise, you could potentially get here quite quick, you? because yeah. it's literally a minute from the road. So that, that's, that's a big plus for it. How have you framed your shot? <sighs> um, right, well, let's, um, let's move over, but it's, it's been very difficult, but I've got down low to try and separate the tree. Same. 
yeah. um, which I think we're pretty much all done. I have, I've come up high and tried it, which I quite like, but it does look, because it just separates the bottom of the tree yeah, there. Exactly, exactly. But what I have done with this, with this cloud that's coming over, I've actually used that because it's mirroring the, the actual, the land beyond it. So I've actually put the tree on the right hand side yeah, same here. And, yep. and done that. Right hand third. Off yeah, mine. right hand third. And especially with this cloud coming over, I just like this cloud cover and then that, that bit of light no, behind it. To do. Sorry? You know what I'm tempted to do? What's that? When I get it back in post, I actually flip it. Have the tree leaning in. It's funny because <laughs> I've done this in one of my last videos. Yeah. Discussing this, putting it on the left hand side because it's more pleasing to the eye than on the right hand side. It's leading you into yeah. the image rather than You that. can't. You, right, do Yes, yeah. you'll read left to right. So if, so if that tree, but you can't put the tr this tree on the left hand side because it's leaning that yeah. way. It, so it doesn't it, it work. Leads, it leads you out of the it frame. It leads you out of the frame. Yeah. So it's, it, the tree's either got to be in the middle or on the right or, or on that third. But that, it's, a, it's a very, very good point. But it would look better flipped and that tree on the left side, left hand side, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt. Definitely. I flip totally it. agree. Yeah, just flip it. Yeah, just flip it. Yeah. But I literally, I've spoke about this in, in a Canic Chase video I've just done, mm. and I've literally put that up and basically, what do you think? You know, so it's, it's a good, little good exercise, and I, and I don't, certainly don't call it cheating. It's, mm. ju it's just more pleasing to the eye. And if you was going to do a print, you'd print it that way. Yeah. We had that. Have you completed my interview now? Sorry? Have you completed my interview now? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> got. <laughs> what are you thinking to the location? Me? Yeah, but, it. yeah it, nice. it is nice. It's very nice. It's, when I'm split, locations like we've got the nice flat water yeah but there's just nothing happening but it's making it moody yes yeah and yeah. i've got a thing at the minute yeah. for moody images oh, yeah. so it, this is qu working quite even though it's been difficult to get that tree right yeah yes it has been it is yeah. yeah now sort of working it's it actually could be one of them images when you do get it back it's it's like and then you get it yeah. back and think you know what that's a cracker. I'm leaning more to black and white. Uh, yeah. Black yeah. and white, no I, when it's... I, I, I'm, I don't prefer... If I was going to print image, I'd probably print one black and white. Yeah. Right? But I, as a... Let's say you put it on social media or just looking at it in a digital copy, I prefer just to drop the saturation down a little bit yeah. and still have that little intercolor, so, yeah. especially with the green tree itself. What's doing it for me is these this sort of yellow... These right, yellow reeds. yes, yeah. Because they'll be quite white. I might even just drop all the saturation, but just keep the yellow. How about a polarizer then? Or did you have you tried a I've polarizer? Tried it with a polarizer, tried it without. Right. Done both. Yeah. It did make it nice and dark at first, but yeah. now the light's dropping. I've taken the polarizer off. Yeah. Just right. so, because it's now. Because if too you put dark. a polarizer on, it would bring the grasses out, wouldn't it? But I suppose you'd lose the shadow of the tree then. I didn't lose the shadow because uh, the I've reflection. Got, composition wise. Yeah. I've got two thirds. Of the tan. Yes. Yeah. So it made the fo the first third really dark. Right. Got you. But now this light's dropped. I'm just taking it off. Yeah. We, it but looks like we might have a little bit of colour as well. It's starting to clear behind we, us. We, we've got Martin the dancer behind. Yeah. We've got low line fog. You know what? I'll try and do a serious <laughs> interview. <right? laughs> uh, and he just ruins it. Just, it's one of these things where it just yeah, yeah, in it all you know, the time. Like, and there's, there's so annoying. That goes yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can't turn your back for a second, can you? <laughs> right. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> he is. Hold he on. will do. Hold on, the fog's <laughs> coming. <laughs> he said about the fog. It just, <coughs> just smells of cherry. Jesus. You can see how the atmosphere just rolls in all of a sudden, can't you? Same atmosphere. Yeah. Look, look over there. Oh, over there. You, you know what? I think if that... That's, you've got that horrible bloody electric cable that runs yes. through but it's actually quite a nice little scene that and also like them as a group of trees just beyond there are quite interesting if the light hit them or something like that yeah. on, on the far bank that would be nice it might even be worth going over to that side and shooting this way it's, the reflections it's of these trees really difficult and then look at messy. look at the mist in the valley here but yeah as soon as it's turned up yeah it's going We've actually got rolling mist behind us, which would be be nice because it's actually on our level. So you you never know what's going to happen. Martin's getting the drone up now, so he's obviously cheating. <laughs> this is actually the mood we've got behind us, but we can't. There's no way I think you can incorporate that within the shot. We could get a different shot of this, but 
Oh, but again, it, you might might get something. I might actually try it. But at the moment, at the moment, I'll spin you around because the mood is quite right. Okay, so it just shows you things <laughs> things are changing because we're starting to get we're starting to get some light and it's starting to change completely. If we get this light as the sun is setting, eh, Pequa. Yeah, so it looks like we're losing that colour now. It was happening all behind us. Still a nice location. I think I've actually got some nice moody images, to be honest. We, we did have a nice little bit of light right behind it. So I've, I have, I've gone round that side and just um, tried to get a couple of different compositions. But very interesting. It's very interesting because it's not easy. You know, you know what I mean. You know. You, you see. The kids, will you? you see what I have to put up with. <laughs> right. Okay. It is more trouble. He's brought us out because it's a play day today. Play so day. He likes to get his exercise in, does Martin? <laughs> He's got to get fifty star jumps in a day. <laughs> Why don't we move his camera right over there? <laughs> Over there. Yeah. <laughs> or just keep taking shots. Put it put it out of focus. Oh no, it probably already is. <laughs> we think we're done, but none of us dare actually commit to going just in case we get a bit of light right at the end. Because it's only just well it ain't even sunset yet. And we just, if we just got a little bit of light over this area here, just a little bit of colour, it could change it completely because that would reflect in the water and everything. Which we sort of are packed in, but like I say, not committed to going. Oh guys, we're out again with ginger captures. I'll tell you what, what a turnout. I think there's 15 tockers here. Uh, and we've come up to a black crag. Oh, you can hear me, okay. And uh, let me just show you, the views are absolutely out of this world. And it's windy. to the top. I can't believe I've made it to the top. How about that? We've got we've got up here for sunrise but we might I might have missed it unfortunately. Um, but I don't think it actually sort of happened as such. I actually think the light's gonna be better in the next couple of hours when that, that sun actually gets above these eye clouds and starts to come through them. That's the plan. Martin what's that like there? That's Coniston, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot the name of it. That looks, that looks a nice, interesting light, that does. 
Yeah, I forgot the name of it. Oh, I've got, I've got to get down from here, it's too windy. Okay guys, first of all, this location is absolutely outstanding. 360 views, certainly, certainly 270 views anyway. The light's not playing ball at the minute, but I think it's going to, and I think it's going to be pretty damn nice. Uh, I honestly think we need to get the sun above these clouds, starting to cast its shadows and light on this, this beautiful landscape. The problems we've got is, is the wind. Um, let me just put you down. Okay. The problems we've got is, is the wind in some of the areas, different sides, where I am now, it's pretty windy. So if we've got the long lens, we need to adjust the settings for that without a shadow of a doubt. That's, that's one thing we've, we've got to do. Um, we are, and the cold, it's gone cold because of the wind as well. As you can see, we're starting to get little pockets of light and things like that. And then it's just picking out the compositions, but the wind is quite uncomfortable and it does put you off actually sort of getting an image. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually took a bit of time to sort of settle down a little bit, especially while the light isn't happening and just, just take the scenery in. And I've actually come down to this bit and I found this little, it's, it's, it's just a little, it's not a tarn, it's almost a puddle. Beautiful green colour. Um, I would sort of assume it's from the, I don't know, the peat underneath or whatever. It's beautiful colour. And then we've looking towards the Langdales, we've got a tree on the left and another little tree in the centre, but it sort of disappears because there's no contrast in the in the foreground or the background at the moment. We've got a lovely little um, uh, farm, little white building down there, and then the, this beautiful mountain range. So it's, it's a lovely scene, there's a lot going on. I'm not sure if there's actually too much. The other problem we've got is, where I am, uh, I'm on 24 mil. I'm just about squeezing this little, we'll call it a tarn, little tarn on the right hand side, and just about squeezing the tree in on the left hand side. So. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. What I might do is forget this tree on the left hand side, move over and concentrate on this, this tarn and put that in probably the bottom third of the image uh, and, and just not incorporate the tree. Even though the, the tree is quite nice, it would, it would be lovely in the, the summer, I would have thought, with some nice green leaves on it. Yeah, that, that's, that's the situation we're in. We've got a lovely wall and a lovely step by the the top there which um, I find really interesting. Uh, I might get a shot of that if, if my um, if I can get it wide enough. If I can't get it wide enough I will actually just pano it and I could pano this shot and to be honest with you I might just I might just ch get a cheeky pano before I move because I do like that big vista scene. Yeah I'll do that and then I think I'm going to move over and just get a single shot. Okay, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, it's quite a simple shot. I'm going to get it, I'm bracketing the shot. I'm actually at ISO 400 because I need a quicker shutter speed because of this wind, even though it's dropped a little bit. Uh, I might actually drop the ISO down now. I might get away with ISO 100. I'm going to try it, F8, we'll see. So I'll grab that, grab that shot, I'm moving back up.
lot of happened, so we are going to walk back down to the tarn here and see if we can get some images down there because it's everybody's freezing cold and it's brutal. So yeah, we're going to head back down. See you back down there. Now then, I don't know if you watched the last video that I put up, but the pandas are back uh, in the Lake District. These beautiful pandas. They are super, I must admit, they're super animals for cows. <laughs> they're the, the nicest cows I've ever seen. What beautiful animals. Pandas! Pandas. I knew they were pandas. Someone told me the cows, but I think the pandas. So yes, we've come down off the Black Crag and we've come down to the, <coughs> the lake. And uh, Ginger's brought us down to this little tarn here that's got a lovely, beautiful little hut at the other end. We've all here trying to take, get an image and we've tried to put our own little spin on it, all of us. I had a great morning, by the way. So what I've done, I've gone down low. I like these foreground grasses. The lake's quite dark. The grasses are quite light. I've tried to separate the, the, um, the reflection of the hut slightly with the grasses and then the reflection and the hut itself. The only problem we have got is that that, that sky above it's a bit, a little bit too bright. So I've, I've tried to come, just cut the top of the trees off. It's still, yes, a nice image, very, very nice image. Um, I do think I'm going to move up there and see if I can get another image from that side. I do like these reeds on this, this side of the running up to the up. I like that. So I'll put the up on the left hand side and tried that as well. But yeah, it's very, very nice little place. Very, very nice indeed. So we've come to the lake, it's clagged over now. It's actually clagged over and it's, it's very, very fine drizzle, which you probably can see on the lens. But I think I'm done on this location. I've come to uh, show one of the, the guys this, this, the top here, where this fantastic tree is, which I photographed when I come here last time. Um, I think it was June time and the sunrise is just behind it here. But that, that's, uh, that's an awesome shot. But then obviously you've got the lake over here. Just follow me in the background here. Beautiful views. It's just a shame it's clagged in at the moment. Um, the rest of the guys are just down on this point here, which is another good viewpoint. I've just brought one of the guys up to show him up here. And, uh, but yeah, I ain't gonna get any more photos, so I've done. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Just been video in slow mo mode. Start again. So, <laughs> just videoed in slow mo. Wow. Well, he don't do the don't do the audio. Just a slow mo. I'm like, oh, I'm <laughs> it was it was good stuff. I said as well. Can you stand further back? No. <laughs> I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. Have you completed my interview now? Sorry? Have you completed my interview now? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> cut. <laughs> just try not to ask me awkward questions. <laughs> I'm the interviewer. You know what I mean? It's just not fair. The yeah, the interviewee. Yeah, yeah. But now this light's dropped, I'm just taking it off. Yeah. It but looks like we might have a little bit of colour as well. It is starting to clear. We, we've got Martin the dancer behind. Yeah.
we've got low lane fog. You know what? I'll try and do a serious interview. <laughs> right? uh, and he just ruins it. It's it one of these things where it just yeah, yeah, happens, yeah, isn't it? All you know, the time, like, and so annoying. That goes yeah, on, it, yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> you can't turn your back for a second, can you? <laughs> right. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> he is. Hold it on. will do. Hold on, the fog's come in. It's not about the fog. It just, <laughs> just smells of cherry. Oh, Jesus. You can see how the atmosphere just rolls in all of a sudden, can't you? You know, you know what I mean. You know. You, you, see, the kids, you? you see what I have to put up with. <laughs>